Hey guys, welcome to DIY Crafts. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step pattern of making this cute little apple amigurumi. So let's get started. For this, I'm going to use a cotton 4 ply yarn with a crochet hook of size 3 mm. Now begin with a brown color yarn and make a slip knot by leaving a little long tail end which we are going to use to create the stem. Make a slip knot and adjust the loop. Now place the tail end as a yarn over on the hook and make chain 1 through both the loops on the hook. Repeat this step for 5 to 6 times to create the shape of a stem. Just watch carefully and reciprocate. So after making 5 to 6 times, now hold both the yarns together and this is how the stem of an apple looks like. Now hold both the yarns at a time and make chain 1. Now trim the excess thread by leaving a little long tail end. And we are going to use these ends to attach it to the base of our apple. Now put this stem aside and let's start working leaf for the project. Begin with the slip knot and make chain 7. That's 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now skip the first stitch from the hook and into the next stitch make one slip stitch. Now into the next stitch make one single crochet and then in the next stitch make one half double crochet stitch. In the next stitch make a DC increase that means two double crochet stitches are being worked in a single stitch. This gives the shape of a leaf. Now make one half double crochet in the next stitch followed by one single crochet stitch and in the last stitch make three single crochet stitches and this helps to rotate the project around and we will reach the other side of the leaf. Now we are going to repeat this pattern in a mirror image kind. In the next stitch we are going to make one half double crochet stitch. Into the next stitch, make a DC increase that is 2 DCs going into the same stitch. Now in the next stitch, make one half double crochet stitch. Then make one single crochet stitch. Now into the first stitch, make one slip stitch. Now over the first slip stitch make another slip stitch to give the shape of our leaf. Now chain 1 and trim the excess threads. And as we have already weaved in the tail end at the beginning, I am trimming that excess thread here. Now chain 1 and you can trim the excess thread by leaving a long tail end. And we use this tail end to attach it to the stem of our apple. Now let's attach this to the stem. I am using a tapestry needle. Now take the stem of our apple and attach it around the fourth or fifth stitch, and that is where this leaf sits perfectly on our apple. Just check with the alignment and join them together. If anyone are looking forward for the written instructions, those are given in the description below. Do check it out. And make sure you follow me on all my other social media platforms and please do subscribe to this channel. 
for more interesting crochet videos. Now insert the excess tail end through nearby stitches and then trim the excess thread in green. Now put this complete arrangement aside and let's start working on the base of our apple. And this is how the stem and the leaf looks like. Isn't it cute? Now please post your comments here. Now let's take the red color yarn and then begin with a magic ring. Now chain 1 and let's start making first row. Make 6 single crochet stitches into the center. That's the first one. 2 3 4 5 and the sixth one. Now close the magic ring to pull all the stitches together. Now insert the hook into the first most stitch and then make one single crochet stitch into the same stitch. Here instead of rows we are going to work in spirals. This way amigurumi looks more defined and in, in good shape. Now make one single crochet stitch for our second row. I have put a stitch marker in the first stitch. This helps me to identify the beginning of each row. Now for the second row we are going to make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch. Now this one takes you a little bit of more patience as we are going to make only one stitch in each and every stitch. So you need to adjust the stitches at every point of time and for at least for the few first stitches. Now this completes the second row with six single crochet stitches. Now remove the stitch marker, adjust the stitches, insert the hook into the first stitch and then make two single crochet stitches into the same stitch. Put the stitch marker into the first stitch to mark the beginning of our third row. Now into the next stitch make one single crochet increase. Likewise for the third row we are going to make one single crochet stitch increase in each and every stitch which means by the end of the first row we will have a total of 12 single crochet stitches. If you are crocheting along and at any point of time if you feel the video is moving fast adjust the playback settings from YouTube settings and that way it will be much more easier for you to follow the pattern. Now here I am making the last increase for our third row and this completes your third row with 12 single crochet stitches. Now remove the stitch marker and let's start making the fourth row. Make one single crochet stitch in the first stitch and put the stitch marker back in its place. Now continue to make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row until you reach the starting point which means we are going to have 12 single crochet stitches in the fourth row as well. Now here I am making the last single crochet stitch in our fourth row. Now remove the stitch marker and let's start making the fifth row. Make one single crochet stitch into the first stitch and put the stitch marker back in its place. And this indicates the beginning of our fifth row. Now into the next stitch make one single crochet stitch increase which means we are going to repeat this pattern of one single crochet stitch and one increase throughout the row for six times. We have already done two times and this is the third one. One single crochet stitch and one increase. Do it three more times until you reach the starting point. Now here I am making the last increase and this completes your fifth row with 18 single crochet stitches. 
Now remove the stitch marker and make one single crochet stitch in the first stitch and then put the stitch marker back in its place. Now into the next stitch make one increase which means two single crochet stitches into the same stitch. In the next stitch make one single crochet stitch. Now we are going to repeat this pattern of one single stitch followed by an increase and then one single crochet stitch throughout the row for six times. Do it four more times until you reach the starting point. Here I am making the last single crochet stitch and this completes your sixth row with 24 single crochet stitches. Here we have got the beginning of the tip and this tip goes inside to give the illusion of the shape of our apple. Now stop it here and here is where we are going to attach the stem and leaf to the apple. And this way it is much more easier than to attach it after completing the complete apple. So it is suggested to add it after completing the beginning few rows. Now with the help of a tapestry needle attach it onto the top of the apple as shown. Insert both the tail ends of the stem in the first row and to the center of the apple. So it perfectly sits on the top of the apple. Now after inserting both the tail ends, secure them with a tight knot as shown. I'm just using both the tail ends to make few knots to secure it in its place. So even if the kids play with it a little harder, the shape won't get ruined and the stems don't fall apart. So just securing it with few knots. And this is how it looks like after attaching the stem and leaf to the apple. Now trim the tail ends and make them short. You can use up these scrap yarns to stuff the doll so save them for later. Now let's continue with the pattern. Where are we? Yes, at the end of the 6th row. So we are, now we are going to start our 7th row. So adjust the loop, remove the stitch marker and make first single crochet stitch into the first stitch and put the stitch marker back in its place to mark the beginning of your 7th row. Now that we have already done one single crochet stitches, I am going to make two more which means we have got three single crochet stitches. And then into the next stitch make one single crochet increase. So now we are going to repeat this pattern of three single crochet stitches and one increase throughout the row. That's the third single stitch and then make one increase. Repeat this pattern of 3 single stitches and an increase throughout the row until you reach the starting point. Now into the last stitch make an increase and this completes your 7th row with 30 stitches. Now remove the stitch marker and let's start making 8th row. Begin with a single crochet stitch and put the stitch marker back in place. Now into the next stitch make one more single stitch. So we have two single stitches here. Into the next stitch make an increase. Again make two single crochet stitches. So this is the pattern we are going to follow for 8th row. Two single stitch increase and two single stitch. So repeat it again. 2 single stitch, increase and again 2 single stitch which means we will have a consecutive 4 stitches at a place. Now repeat this pattern 4 more times until you reach the starting point. 
Now making the last single crochet stitch and this completes your 8th row with 36 single crochet stitches. Now remove the stitch marker and make one single crochet stitch into the next stitch. And this is how the shape is like. And if you poke the starting place into the center, the shape will, ev will be even more cute. Make the first single crochet stitch in the ninth row and put the stitch marker back in place. Now into the next 4 stitches, make 1 single crochet stitch in each stitch, which means we have a total of 5 single crochet stitches. Now into the next stitch, make 1 increase, which means we have 2 single crochet stitches into the same stitch. Now we are going to repeat this pattern of 5 single crochet stitches, that's the 4th one and then the 5th one and then followed by an increase for 4 more times in this row until you reach the starting point. Now making the last increase and this completes your 9th row with 42 single crochet stitches. Now remove the stitch marker and let's start making 10th round. Make one single crochet stitch in the first stitch and put the stitch marker back in its place. Then make 3 single crochet stitches That's and then make one increase. Into the next 3 stitches make one single crochet stitch in each stitch that's the second one and the third one. So now the pattern is 3 single stitches followed by increase and then 3 single crochet stitches and repeat the pattern throughout the row until you reach the starting point. And now making the last 3 single crochet stitches and this completes your 10th row with 48 stitches. Now remove the stitch marker and make one single crochet stitch into the next stitch. Now put the stitch marker back in its place and let's start making the 11th row and we have done one single stitch already. Continue to make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row until you reach the starting point and repeat the pattern from row 11 to row 14 as well which means we'll have one single stitch in each and every stitch throughout the rows of 11, 12, 13 and 14 and in each row we will have 48 stitches. So this is the shape of the apple after completing 14 rows. Now remove the stitch marker and let's start making the 15th row. Now for the 15th row we are going to make 3 single crochet stitches that's the second one and then the third one and do not forget to put the stitch marker back into the first stitch to mark the beginning of your 15th row. Now into the next two stitches we are going to make one invisible decrease. That's the decrease and in the next three stitches we have one single stitch in each and every stitch. Now we are going to repeat this pattern of 3 single stitch, 1 invisible decrease and 3 single crochet stitches throughout the row until you reach the starting point. Now making the last 3 single crochet stitches and this completes your 15th row with 42 single crochet stitches. Now remove the stitch marker and make 1 single crochet stitch and put the stitch marker back in place to mark the beginning of your 16th row. Now make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row until you reach the starting point and continue to make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch for rows 17 and 18 as well. Now making the last single crochet stitch by the end of the 18th row. Now each and every row of 16, 17 and 18 will have 42 single crochet stitches. Now remove the stitch marker, make one single crochet stitch 
and put the stitch marker back in place to mark the beginning of 19th row make 5 single crochet stitches that's the first one already done 2 3 4 and 5 then we have an invisible decrease watch it carefully insert the hook into the front loops of next 2 stitches drop a loop and then make a single stitch and that is how we make invisible decrease again continue the pattern of 5 single crochet stitches and increase sorry decrease throughout the row now here making the last invisible decrease again the insert again insert the hook into the front loops of next two stitches and then make a single crochet decrease so it's slowly taking the shape of our apple and now by the end of the 19th row we have total 36 single crochet stitches now remove the stitch marker and let's start making row 20 begin with a single stitch and put the stitch marker back in place before you forget now continue to make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch for row 20 and row 21 as well so we will have 36 stitches in row 20 and 21 here I am making the last single stitch of row 21 and we have 36 stitches in 21th row now remove the stitch marker and make one single stitch to mark and put the stitch marker back in place to mark the beginning of 22nd row into the next stitch make one more single stitch that means we have two single crochet stitches now into the next stitch we have an invisible decrease again make two single crochet stitches so now we are going to repeat this pattern of two single stitches decrease and two single stitches throughout the row until you reach the starting point that's the invisible decrease and now making the last two single crochet stitches of row 22 now remove the stitch marker and this completes your 22 row with 30 stitches now make one single crochet stitch and put the stitch marker back in place to mark the beginning of 23rd row we have already done one single stitch now making two more single crochet stitches that means we have a total of three single stitches and then an invisible decrease now continue the pattern of three single crochet stitches followed by one invisible decrease insert the hook into the front loops of the next two stitches and then make a single stitch repeat this pattern until you reach the starting point now we have two stitches left and we are making an invisible decrease into it and this completes your 23rd row and you'll have 24 stitches now remove the stitch marker make a single crochet stitch and put the stitch marker back in place now into the next stitch make one more single stitch which means we have two single crochet stitches and then make one invisible decrease again repeat this pattern of two single crochet stitches and one invisible decrease throughout the row until you reach the starting point and now by the end of the 24th row you'll have a total of 18 single crochet stitches here I am making the last invisible decrease and this completes my 24th row this is how the shape of the apple is taking out now stop it here and let us start stuffing the toy with the fiber fill just loosen it and stuff it into the toy and here is where you can stuff all the scrap yarns as well now put good amount of stuffing into the toy as it holds a good shape do not over stuff that it may ruin the shape of our toy now once the filling is good enough stop it 
and let's continue with the pattern. Now adjust the stuffing, adjust the loop and now here we are at the beginning of 25th row. Begin with one single crochet stitch into the first stitch. Now make it now put the stitch marker back into its place. Then into the next stitch, make one invisible decrease. It's a little bit challenging putting the stuff all in its place and stitching but just push yourself we are about to close it so continue this pattern of one single crochet stitch and one invisible decrease throughout the row until you reach the starting point so here I am making the last invisible decrease and this completes your 25th row with 12 single crochet stitches now make one single stitch into the next stitch and put the stitch marker back in its place to mark the beginning of 26th row. For this row, we are going to make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch. Just one stitch. And this helps to give the shape of our apple underneath. Make sure your stitches are tight enough so that the stuffing won't be seen through. Now making the last single crochet stitch in 26th row and now remove the stitch marker and then make one invisible decrease in the first two stitches. That's the first single crochet decrease. Now put the stitch marker back in place. Now continue to make invisible decreases throughout the row which means we are going to decrease 12 stitches to 6 stitches just one decrease in each and every 2 stitches now after making the last invisible decrease remove the stitch marker and into the next stitch make a slip stitch now chain 1 and trim the excess thread by leaving a long tail end. We are going to use this tail end to give detailing to the apple. Fasten off and now with the help of a tapestry needle, add the detailing to the apple as shown. Insert the needle into the front loops of all the 6 stitches in your 27th row and pull it tightly so that the opening will get closed. Now after inserting into all the stitches just close the opening by pulling the end tightly. Now insert the yarn needle through the center of the apple to reach the tip of it near the stem and gently pull the tail end so that it will take the shape at the bottom. Now secure this by making a small knot on the top. Now after making the knot on the top of our apple, just check for the shape. And now insert the needle back into the center on the top. As we want to create the shape of our apple on the top as well. Now insert the needle through the top until you reach it through the center onto the opposite side again pull it tightly to get the shape of apple on the top pull it gently right you do not want to ruin a toy now hold the shape and make a knot at the base and the knot should be close to the base of our apple and after securing both the shapes hide the thread by weaving in and out through few stitches across the apple. This hides the thread safely. And now trim the excess thread. 
Now adjust the filling through your fingers and adjust the shape of our apple. And that's it. Our cute amigurumi apple is ready. These amigurumi toys are an excellent option for kids to play with or use it as a decoration. I'm going to add more and more amigurumi toys and beautiful crochet patterns to the channel. So stay tuned. I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial. Do give this pattern a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. See you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, share it and subscribe to DIY Crafts.